What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Koga. This is Lovey Hip Hop New York, season 10, episode 14. Baby, man, mana, dream, or whatever. Uh, whatever that word is. I'm not good with names, but excuse me for that. <clears throat> so, we're going to talk about the basic about Cisco, Rich, Pia Gun, and Olivia. Because Olivia just tired of this, like... My thing is, I feel like she need to take the court and do what she had to do. I don't think she would lie and stuff like that. I think that maybe that's probably what happened. Because Rich said that he know that Olivia was lying, that he wouldn't do that to her and stuff like that. He was so hard. He said, that song, that record is not hers. He basically saying that the record is his. He's got to excuse my hair. I need to get a haircut soon. This ha is. I'm going to try to get it sometime this month. This is way March. It's March 10th right now. I'm not behind for certain videos. Then we got, um, then we know Cisco met with Peter Gunn. They got Cisco, uh, uh, Cisco, a professional. We know he lost a lot of weight now. He's not that chubby no more, but he lost a lot of weight. Looking good in shape. But yeah, um, he's still going to be a liar. We know he say those things. We know he did. He tried to deny it, the fact. Because Olivia know that he say these things. Him and Rich is not really boys like that. So I don't know why they try to put on the front that they're cool on suddenly. But they not. They always talk shit about each other. You know what I'm saying? And then Peter Gunn was upset because Amina. We know that Amina and Peter is not together no more. Because I guess he cheated on her and stuff. And she was done. We've been trying to get this girl to leave him, and I'm glad that she did us a favor. She's a single mom. They just co parents because, you know, we find that Cisco let uh, Amina class over the uh, class at his part, his, his place, because he said he had a big place. So, it is what it is, and Peter Gunn was pissed off. He wasn't here for it, because he said that you should have called me and tell me that your ex, my ex was staying over your house. I mean, I can agree. I can also agree about that, most part. But it went down, and then Cisco just couldn't handle the truth. And pretty much, when Peter Gunn said that, how about, how about if I would have done the same thing, I had your baby mama stay at my place, and I guess Cisco got in his feeling. Things got really all occasion. They about to fight. The security was everywhere trying to break it up. Cisco was on the floor. I let the security push them. I don't know what the hell was that about, but I don't give a Damn, what happened with them? You know what I'm saying? Rich Dollar was going in on Cisco in the confessional and stuff like that. Things would never get solved. I don't know why they brought those three back together as Creed Squad. Man, I didn't give a fuck about that. It is what it is. We got to see Yandy, um, you know, her future mother in law. They went to go try, they went to go get Mandizi out of jail because, you know, he's. He's out. He's been there for four years. And now, that was that. You know what I'm saying? That's when she brought her, her daughter. Because, you know, she's a doctor. She's a beautiful girl now. She's a doctor. And remember, she replaced the ring. And she tried to make it seem like she said she didn't lose the ring. She said she replaced it. So, uh, we know that um, her daughter is cool with it. She didn't never have a problem with Man Daisy. She they still still try to get her to call her, make her call her dad. But no, she said like Yanny said, you can call where we want to call him, because at the end of the day, she's cool with him. Everything is cool. Everything is good. And yeah, man. Um, what is that? The hell did I get there? Maybe just a hair. But yeah, um, I'm going to shave you later. I got to shave anyway. Um, what else happened? We did see, um, we did see Yanny again talking to Olivia and trying to get Olivia to talk to Rich again. But Olivia's done explaining to Rich. Done talking to him. Like, soon they talk, you know what I'm saying? They, she laughed. <clears throat> she laughed and she didn't want nothing to do with it. She was done and I feel like she's going to take him to court, do what you got to do, sweetie, to get that money. Because Rich Dodge is tired of being blamed for it. And 
it's kind of crazy, man. I just don't care anymore. Um, we didn't, nothing really happened. Excuse me. We got to see uh, Safari was better perform and Erica Mena reached out to Safari and basically saying that she her water boat. So what she do? He marched over there. He went, made it just a time, and he didn't. He made it. He wasn't gonna miss this moment because Erica, Erica wanted him there from the start. So that was that. That was so cute. It's a I think it's a a girl or a boy. I think a adorable kid. They'll be good parents. They got married. So that's what's up. We know Remy mom was checking on Erica and stuff like that. And she didn't want to tell Erica that because she didn't want to put her through that. So yeah, we know that she's happy that her music is coming out. We know we've seen her her, her daughter. But what's up with those glasses she had on? But it is what it is. I don't want to be judgmental. And we also seen Fletcher and Jim. Man... I could do that without them because I don't know why they on the show. We don't really care about their storyline. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse my voice. We don't care about their storyline. I um, Jen just don't trust them anymore. I wish she never took them back. They both need to go their separate way, be their co-parents, and just move the hell on already. Move on. Hopefully they don't come back next season. I could deal with Jada because she the one that's innocent. Not even one of them are. But Jada. But yeah, guys, I don't really have too much to say about Love and Hip Hop. Everybody was saying their goodbye. Chrissy, um, Kim Bella, um, Yandy, who else? We got El Kamena and Safari. And I think that's, and I think Mimi Ma said her goodbye. I don't know. Nobody didn't know, nobody else matters. But yeah, guys, that's all I have to say about this episode of A Hip Hop New York. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, please turn on the notification, and share this video. Peace.